I think in today's modern context, conflicts can manifest in many, many different dimensions, including that of a digital domain. When we leverage cloud technologies, this can really help us to exponentially improve and rethink the way we fight, reimagine operational processes and outsmart the adversary. I'm Major Chot Yichen, call sign Rob, from the Republic of Singapore Air Force. I'm in this little startup called RAID. RAID stands for RSF, Agile, Innovation and Digital. In short, we are a digital startup meant to deliver value to our warfighters. Today's use of the airspace is becoming a lot more congested and complex with the proliferation of uh, UASs. Being very small in nature, these drones can create very, very huge problems. These are becoming increasingly harder to track. What this means for the Air Force is that these are disrupting the way we work. It presents a safety hazard to our operations and how might we be able to manage airspace to separate the use of airspace between man and unmanned flight. Coordination in a small country with many agencies it requires a lot of time. You would have to call many agencies to make sure that drones are being used safely and efficiently for the purpose of a homeland defence. So instead of having to go through multiple agencies for coordination, what we have done was to use commercial technologies, in this case cloud technologies, to present to the operator a single pane of glass where commanders, decision makers and drone operators can have the same common operating picture. This enhances the situational awareness for our operators and commanders alike, allowing them to make decisions uh, in split seconds instead of minutes. Exercise Wallaby is uh, one of the Singapore Armed Forces largest overseas exercise. This gave us a platform for the first time how we might think about embedding software developers uh, with our end users, which are the warfighters, to be able to see what they see and to be able to fight what they fight. And we fight in a different dimension. We are fighting in a digital dimension. I was the technical lead for the team that was deployed to Wallaby um, to create this software physically there to be closer to the warfighters so that we can meet them more frequently and understand what are their requirements for the application. I think this is a very unique thing to Singapore and the Republic of Singapore Air Force. And what that has done was help us to collaborate and interoperate a lot more efficiently with each other. Our software developers are actually military guys with operational experience and technical expertise. So that brings the best of both worlds together. That was what allowed us uh, on top of the cloud platform to develop quickly in nine days, delivering an initial functional prototype to the end users. So in a conventional software development process, the application usually takes a minimum of three months to about a year or two. In Exercise Wallaby, because of the unique scenario that we are placed onto, we don't have that horizon of three months to a year. So using um, AWS and its services allows us to deploy um, our codes really fast into the cloud environment. This means that we can see features almost instantaneously. In RAID, we have partnered with industry to meet our needs. We believe that there are a lot of good practices, uh, good knowledge that uh, we can glean on from industry. So as a baseline, we are putting most of our workforce on AWS Skill Builder. That provides us with a good structure and foundation on how to leverage commercial technology to meet our unique needs in defense. I think the Air Force recognizes that the future will be a lot more uh, uncertain, uh, volatile and ambiguous. And I don't think anyone today can tell you what the battlefield of tomorrow can look like. But what is absolutely certain is that it will be disruptive. By folding in cloud-based technologies, what we are striving for is you know, to give our warfighters that cognitive edge. In partnering with you know, our industry partners, uh, working together gives us a chance to understand and learn from other organizations what are good values to have. How do we then imbue some of these characteristics into our DNA?